Uh, you know, I'm a physician who's practiced more than 40 years, got gaslit out of medicine by our government. You know, a bunch of smart lawyers and doctors is like, really people? But yeah, this kind of thing happens everywhere. And so this story, this editorial by John Grisham, many of you are familiar with him. He's a novelist and he serves on the boards of the Innocence Project and Centurion Ministries, organizations dedicated to exonerating defendants who were wrongfully committed, convicted, I'm sorry. So this is a story about an autistic father named Robert Robertson who was wrongfully convicted of murdering his two-year-old daughter. And this is just a shameful story of how we may use the death penalty to execute this innocent man. Let me just start out uh, with Mr. Grisham's opening paragraphs. For a parent, nothing is worse than the death of a child. Imagine the horror, though, of being falsely accused and wrongly convicted of killing your child. 20 years ago, prosecutors in Anderson County, Texas, relied on a now discredited hypothesis about, quote, shaken baby syndrome, end quote, to convict Robert Roberson of the capital murder of his chronically sick two-year-old daughter, Nikki. Another case of where we in medicine and psychiatry, we come up with all these bogus diagnoses. So for example, according to the state in Colorado, I have advanced frontotemporal dementia. I'm severely disabled. I cannot practice medicine anymore. Really? I mean, it is batshit crazy the way these experts, lawyers, psychiatrists label the human condition, mislabel the human condition. And so in this case, really they're gonna put a man to death maybe because they misunderstood what was really going on. Whoa, 